So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Luminar 2018 to enhance your images, make them a little bit uh, very creative. I'm going to add uh, a couple filters that are built into uh, Luminar. I'm going to use one of the presets that come with it. But this is for Luminar 2018. Uh, in this image, I took this at a photo walk we just uh, recently did. And um, I just loved the figurine. It was, uh, it was backlit a little bit, had a little bit of glow to it. Uh, but I, I wanted to change it. So when I saw the image, I knew exactly that I wanted to do something different. So when I took the photograph, I positioned myself so that behind him would go, or him, her, uh, would go black. And uh, it would it enable me to do something else with it. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we're going to add a, a new preset overlay. And we're going to, um, so it gave us a, a new layer basically to this. And I'm going to use this artistic uh, copper strong. I just like the look of it. It has a little bit of warmth to it. I like the images that manner. Color temperature is a little bit on the warmer side. Added some clarity, saturation, and vibrance. So it gave a really nice look. But if it's too strong for you, you could either remove any of these by clicking on the little I button and it removes it. Or if you want to just reduce the entire look of the preset, you could drop this down. This is by this is basically reducing the opacity of the preset. So you could do that. But I, I like the way it looked initially. They came right off the how they had it set up. So we're going to use that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a an adjustment layer because I want to add filters and I want and I like to layer my filters uh, so that I could. Um, put the effect in different parts of the image. So in this case, we're going to click on Add Filters. And if you notice here, when you mouse over, it just highlights a little bit. But if you want to see what the filters, the effect is, you click on the little eye, and as you mouse over, it shows an image of uh, something you have built in. It's not your image having the effect done to it, but you'll see that it has there. So you have fog, which is what we're going to add. You could add grain and uh, so on and so forth. So there's so many different built in. So we're going to add fog and then um, I'm going to turn this off as we mouse over. So you have two options, light fog, dark fog, and then the the amount of fog. So we'll take us up to about 30. Now that fills the whole thing in and that really didn't doesn't do anything for me. But in this case what I want to do, we're going to click on the layer, and we're going to take brush, and I am going to I'm going to brush in some fog down on the bottom. So where I paint this will be where the fog is and the rest of it will disappear. So we're just going to brush this in. And we'll let it process a little bit, see what it does. Okay, so we painted that in, and this is, it looks like some fogs coming up through him. And you can play around and do a little bit more to it if you don't like the way it looks. And if it's if you added too much to it, you just reverse this, and and it's rather be you could paint or erase however you want to do this. So you can take some of it out. So again, play around with it what works for you. So the next filter that I'm going to add is I'm going to add the um, the sunlight. And so we'll, we will add another layer, new adjustment layer. And so now this layer again is on top, so I could add this, take away whatever I wanted to do. So again, if we turn this on, we're going down to the sun rays. Um, I really like playing with this. Again, if you're creating this, depending on where you are on certain things, just indicate you've added stuff to it. It's, it's, it's cre creativeness. That's how I like it. So. So we're adding some sun rays. Um, and so you, you have your X and Y axis that will show up. So the, right now this is above there. And it's nice. I mean, we could drop this down and put it right behind him. But um, for, for me, what I really liked on it was I'm going to move it over slightly. We'll see where we we'll move this around a little bit. And you'll see that it adjusts. It, it'll paint based upon your, your machine. So let's back this up just a little bit. And so you have a really, I mean, it looks it looks good now. I mean, it really does look good. Um, and so I have the y-axis at 23. 
Right, let me turn this off. So. And the amount. So you the amount here you start to adjust how much you want to go through or how much you want painted. And a look you could you could adjust the look. You'll see that it starts to change it. So the number of uh, light bars or light rays. So the intensity starts to change. The length, you can start to change it out. Um, so you could really just start to play with this. Uh, the warmth, you could warm it up or cool it down a little bit. Um, and we could do a little bit of the... Uh, radius let's drop this down just a slight and we're going to change the glow and then you have the one a couple down here um, this penetration as I play with it I, I just find that it's, it's it's a very interesting and so it appears how much is going to come through the subject that the light is behind and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. In this, in this. So you'll see how that's coming through. And then if you adjust this just slightly, you'll see that it changed where the, the rays were or are. And it just has a slightly different look. Just if we just move it a wee little bit. So let's just say we move this to 23 just for the sake of it. Hit enter. You'll see that it moved that just a little bit there. And let's move this guy here. It's just a little bit different look. So which, whatever works for you, start to play with this. But then, again, this is just two two main filters uh, that I really like to play with to add a little bit of different texture, different looks. Because you could, when you had the, the fog, you could just add a little bit on the bottom of your image and just have the opacity maybe at 10%, just to have a little bit of different softness, add a little bit of glow to it. Um, so in this case here, we, um, we created this, this guy. And he looks like he's standing in some fog, uh, foggy, misty water, light rays are behind him. So you have a light veil coming on and you can put some text above it. I love to add text to mine, put some positive quotes um, as one of my favorite sayings are. Let's make the world a better place, make it a better place through our images. So this is uh, something we created uh, quickly. You could change uh, the warmth. And every time I do this image just to play with it, um, I'll, I keep coming up with just different ideas. But So I hope this helped. Um, play around with Luminar 2018, brand new software uh, for Windows. I, I really enjoy playing with it, the different filters. So I hope this uh, tips and tricks helped. Stop back for more.